it just seemed like God basically abandoned us. And I mean, I struggled with that a lot. Um, I was brought up in Southern Baptist, and uh, I always knew there was God, and not because I was told, um, but because I've actually seen His work in my life. I just knew something wasn't right where I was at. Like the people was great and all, just something wasn't right, something didn't feel right, and I wasn't sure what it was. Uh, all around this town, I was going bouncing back and forth from uh, church to church, uh, doing Bible study and all that good stuff with pretty much all of them. Um, the only ones that I was actually avoiding was uh, here is because it was a different, there was a different book, you know. I mean, I was all about the Bible and nothing else, you know. And, uh, and all of them just was, every, every Bible study was disappointing. And then one day, I was uh, walking actually just down the road from right here. Uh, me and my, my son was walking to uh, my, my pastor's house and came across missionaries. I don't know, there was quite a few of them looking like they just was having a big old powwow. Uh, and I was the, the youth pastor there at the church I was attending at the time. So yeah, let's, let's find out what's going on. And so talked to them and found out who they was and all. And they offered me a Book of Mormon. And it's like, uh, I was like, I'm good, I'm good. But I did promise them that I would take it to uh, the Father in, in prayer and, uh, and honestly ask him if it was the right thing, and I did. And I don't know, probably a couple months or so of that every single day. Uh, finally, I reached out and contacted them, and I was like, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll take a book. So I met two uh, individuals, uh, Elder Britton and Elder Fogg. They gave me a book, we chatted for a while, and I started my journey reading it. And uh, one of the sister missionaries, you know, I was like, man, I still haven't finished the book yet, you know, but I still haven't found a dis discrepancy or anything. So she says, well, maybe that's your leap of faith. And so I was like, okay. So I just did a leap of faith and I said, all right, I accept it. Let's do this. And me and my family got baptized. I picked it up and I started reading. And I mean, I read uh, the rest of the Book of Mormon. I, I really come to a realization it, it has to be real. Um, it makes sense. All these old questions that's been fogging my mind for all these years has been answered. It just seemed like God basically abandoned us, and I mean, I struggle with that a lot. So putting it into to this different perspective that there's still prophets today, which makes more sense, that there's modern revelation, and not that God's word changes, but we change, uh, our surroundings change, the meaning behind words change. So. It strengthened me to know that God really didn't just say, ah, you know, it's all on y'all. You know, he's still there with us. Don't take my word for it. Don't take these people's word for it at all. Anybody can lie to you. Just take a look into scripture and just read and pray. Go to God, give it a chance. Take that leap of faith. It's, it's something that has to happen between you and God. Just do that. Don't take somebody's word for it. Testimonies are great, but there's no way that my words are gonna convince you of anything. You're gonna to have to figure that out yourself.